Hello guys, so let's work this problem. This problem is about a, a cable subject to distributed load, like you can see here. And there are two parts on this problem, and in this video I'm going to do the first part, but I'm going to solve the first part in two different ways. Let's, let's first check the, the statement to see what the problem is asking. It says the cable will break when the maximum tension T max is 8,000 kN, determine the maximum W required to develop that tension. So this is a pretty straightforward problem no matter what you do. Uh, important or key here in how to you how you are going to be approaching this is uh, you know this support and this support are at the same height. So that's a huge advantage when you ha when you uh, have to solve the problem. Uh, second, I mean if you have the formulas this is just straightforward. Uh, but you have to know when the where well, you don't even have to know if you know the formulas, but just keep in mind that the maximum tension in the cable always develop where the slope is maximum. In this case, either here or here, because both the slopes are the same. And the minimum tension happens where the slope is the minimum. Where is going to be that? Here, where the cable is flat. That always going to happen. So you have these formulas that we uh, I presented to you in the in the lecture. I just included these two extra formulas here, which are not extra formulas, are the same formula. Basically this formula is just a combination of what? Of this and this. You combine this and this and you can get this. How do you do that? Well, you can solve maybe for H here, plug it into here, and, and you're going to get with this one. And also these and these are the same formula also. This is just, uh, this just happened when you put the this value in here and take common factor WL, then you get this formula. But you have these two formulas which are exactly the same formula. In this problem, what do we have to calculate? T max. Well, we have we have the value for T, T max. We don't have to calculate T max, which is 8,000. And the problem is asking us for this W. Now, one of the, one of the key aspects where a, a lot of students fail is with reading the value of this L here. That's what the, the students, in my experience, fail the most in this. Uh, and this is a stupid way of failing, in my opinion. Failing is not, is not, is not good from the point of view of grades, but failing in that way is even worse. So keep in mind that when the derivation was made, the portion of the cable that was studied was from the point where the cable is flat I mean the slope is zero to one of the ends. So in this case, we can study either the this half or this half. That's what we have to do. But keep in mind that L is not 100. L is gonna be when I do when I do this here. This portion is the one that is gonna be this portion. So L is gonna be half of that 100, meaning 50. By knowing that, you just plug in the values. That's it. Uh, look at the formula. What is the formula that we have? We have this formula. T max equals T max equals W zero L times the square root of one plus L divided by two H square. That's the formula. Now, what is a uh, what is L? 50. What is H? H is the sagging. The sagging. This sagging. This is H. So for our problem, 12 meters from here to here, from here to here. This is H. Plug in the values. T max. How much is T max? 8,000. It's going to be equal to W, this is what we are looking for, times L, L is 50, times square root of 1 plus 50 divided by 2 times H, which is 12 square. And then from here we can solve and we can get W equals 69.2 kilonewton meter. Look how easy this problem is. 
super easy. Now let's, for a moment, let's say that you don't remember the formulas, which I personally never remember the formulas, and the formulas are not provided. And you are in the middle of, I don't know, an exam, whatever exam. Well, this type of problem is really easy to solve using statics and knowing that the maximum tension happens where the maximum slope is. So in other words, I can just study this and calculate reactions because the tension here in this point is just going to be the combination of the horizontal and the vertical reactions at the support. So we can do that also and I'm going to do the second approach really quick. The second approach will be this. If you call this point A and this point B, then we can start by saying summation of moments at A equals zero to calculate the reaction BY. Or you can just say that because everything is symmetric, whenever you have the reactions here, you're going to have these, right? AY. AX, BY, and BX. Because everything is symmetric here, the reactions, vertical reactions, are going to absorb the same value. So then it's going to be what? It's going to be 100 times W divided by 2. So AY is going to be equal to BY, and that's going to be equal to 100 times W divided by 2. So that means that AY equals BY equals 50 times W. And we have the vertical reactions. Now for the for the horizontal reaction, for the BX or the AX reaction, which are the same by the way, and the horizontal forces in cables are the same all the time because usually the, unless you have horizontal forces applied, which is not the case of these cables because they are gravity load cables. So if we have to calculate the other one, then you can isolate. I'm going to isolate this part. I'm going to make a cut wherever this dotted red line is. And then I'm going to have this line. And in that line, I'm going to have here Bx. And this is going to be By, 50W. Then you're going to have the distributed load, which you don't know how much is that but you know this is W, and you know this distance, and this distance is 50 meters. At this end, the only thing that you will have is a horizontal force, which is also the minimum tension. How do I know is that the horizontal force? Well, because you know, we did the derivation, the derivation before. This is the horizontal force. So now, what do you do in order to calculate Bx? Let me put this force here. The value of this force, this force here, is going to be what? 50W. And the distance from here to here is going to be 25 meters. So we can do summation of moments in whatever way you want to. I can do summation of moments at B. So I, in that way, I, I eliminate some calculations. So I'm going to do summation of moments at B equals 0. And if I do that, then I have 50W times the distance from here to here is also 25, this distance. I was planning on getting the red, and I got the, the black. So 25, the 50, 50 times W times 25, which is this force, positive. And then I have this acting in the other direction, negative minus FH times this height, which is the sagging 12 meters times 12. And then from here I can solve for FH. So FH is going to be equal to 50W times 25 divided by 12. I don't have the value. Uh, 50 times 25 divided by 12 is 104.16. 104.16 uh, kilonewton W. 
don't forget the W because it's, everything is in terms of W. Now what do we do? We know the maximum tension is 8,000. And if I want to combine to combine this, the maximum tension, look at the look at the that joint B. You have this, you have this, and you have the maximum tension here. What is this? This is Vx equal Fh because the horizontal force is the same. And this is By. We know By because we calculated before here, By. And we know Vh because it's the same Vx, which is the same thing as uh, FH now. If you if you wanna if you wanna make it uh, more presentable, you can say here summation of forces in x equals zero, and then you can say negative FH plus VX equals zero, and then you you can prove that both of them are the same. So once you have that, you can combine these, and you can say that T max square is gonna be equal actually you can say oh T max is a square root of by square plus bx square but if I square both sides you can say T max square is equal to by square which is 50 w square plus uh, bx square which is 104.16 w square and then we can solve for W. If I do that, then this is going to be 50 square, 50 square, A plus answer square, answer square, answer square, uh -huh. Uh, it's going to be this, so 8,000 squared divided by that, divided by that, is this, and if I take the square root of that, it's going to be 69.2. So W equal plus or minus 69.2, but you know the, the minus, of the, the only one of the values is, is going to apply. 69.2 kilonewton meter. There you go. Now you have two approaches. The approach following the formula, of course, is the shortest one. But if you don't remember the formula, then you can always use sta statics. See you in the second part of this video in no time. Bye, guys. Keep watching.